Hello and welcome to another set of reading from Lotus Love Tarot 555. Thank you so much for joining us again. I, I always begin my readings by first saying thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all the love and support that you continue to give our channel, that you continue to give our Instagram uh, channel as well. And please make sure you go and follow us at Lotus Love Tarot 555. But I just want to always begin by telling you thank you. Now, this reading today is the love forecast. We do this once a month and you can apply this to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some, even your Venus sign. Now, remember that the messages do flip-flop. So if it doesn't relate to you, it will relate to your partner. Oh, and hello to our cross watchers out there. Now, I have already pre-shuffled and we can move quickly past that portion. And also, I have started daily readings. So make sure you tune in to us every day. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that little bell right there so you can get the daily notifications. But I'm quite sure just having that insight on what to expect in that day is going to really begin to help you out a lot because I know it has already blessed me and has already blessed several that have uh, watched the dailies and have even you know gone as far as to get the extended which goes just a little bit further into the situations that are occurring all right um i think i already said make sure you follow us on instagram and also don't forget that with these readings there's no time limit so it could have happened three months ago it could happen today it could happen in the near future all right i love you guys so much and now on to your reading Hello, my Leos. Let's get right into your reading. This is the love forecast for June 2019. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Leo as it relates to the love forecast for June 2019? What message? Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now that was a serious fly. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the Universe, what messages need to go forth to the sign of Leo as it relates to the love for Cassie June 2019? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Leo? What do our Leos need to know? Thank you. All right. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the Universe, let me put these over to the side. We use those for our daily readings. Okay. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Leo as it relates to the love forecast for June 2019? Right. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Leo as it relates to the love forecast for June 2019? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Leo? Okay. Okay. Last one. Holy Spirit, divine creator of the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Leo as it relates to the love forecast for June 2019? What messages need to go for for the sign of Leo? Okay, I have a flipper right in the middle of the deck. Okay, my Leos. All right, right out the box. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. And then love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So this, I can already tell, this is more about you you know, cleaning yourself up, dealing with issues that you have personally. And remember, that's the law of attraction. When you clean up yourself, that's when love comes in. So for those who aren't in a relationship right now, Spirit is giving you specific instructions just with the first two cards. And when you do that, the uh, law of attraction states when you, how you treat yourself, that is what you attract in. For those that are in a relationship, that means that once you begin to put that concentration on yourself, loving yourself first, forgiving and learning through past experiences, then your love will go deeper. Spirit is saying also simplify your life. Eliminate clutter from your home and work life to balance the flow of activities. These are specific instructions. It's all about you. 
Your children are watched over by angels. So for those who may be worried about their, their child or children, no need to worry. For those who have children who have passed on, just being, this is just a message coming through for you. Let me you know your children are being watched over by angels. They are just fine. Birthday. You could have just um, been a part of a birthday celebration or somebody's birthday is coming up. You could have just gone to a birthday party, but there was an emphasis around someone's birthday. A significant birthday holds the answer to the questions. Okay, so maybe something came out. You may, may have some, met someone at a birthday. Um, business venture. Trust and follow through on a new business idea or career opportunity. So for those who have been thinking about a business opportunity, Spirit is saying, yes, I need you to move forward in that, okay? And then emotional healing. Okay, this is going back to this forgiving and learning. As your heart heals of old emotional pain, you receive new blessings and new love. So this is what we just said. Just what we just said. Love yourself first. Get it in order. Because look, once you do that, abundance is coming. And that's what that card just said. It says... You will receive new blessings and love. Blessings. Abundance. Okay? And it could be directly tied to this business venture um, that Spirit is telling you to look into. But forgiving and learning. Learn from your mistakes. Loving yourself. Go do something nice for yourself. Simplify your life. Get all the clutter out of your house. Spirit was specific. They said eliminate all the clutter from your home and your workspace. So everything can become balanced. Holy Spirit, divine creator, universe, messages need to go forth for the sign of Leo. For the love forecast for June 2019. What do our Leos need to know? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Leo? Any more messages for the sign of Leo? Leos, you have the Four of Cups, Queen of Swords in reverse, Six of Cups, Queen of Cups in reverse, Page of Swords, and your overall arching energy is the Ace of Cups. This is new feelings. This is intuition. This could represent spirituality. This is love. Okay, someone um, giving you a cup of love. Okay, so this is a lot of the spirituality. I feel like you're being aware, though, of um, this situation with spirit telling you to deal with yourself. I feel like you have a sudden awareness. I think that's, that's where this is more going to, okay, with you being aware and having this new feeling, this intuition that you knew something needed to change. And spirit told you very simply, love yourself first. You got to forgive and learn from the past. Simplify your life, okay? Um, you heal emotionally. I mean, all of these are specific instruction cards because you're disconnected right now, okay? This is somebody who's um, apathetic, unfulfilled. Um, this could also represent a surprise, like somebody saying, voila, okay? <laughs> but uh, I feel more so that you're disconnected. They're disconnected. And it could be because of this person right here, this queen of swords, Okay? Uh, this is somebody that's cold heart. This is some has you know has a cold heart that's cruel, that's bitter. Okay, it could be you, and that's why spirit is saying love yourself first. You know, forgive and learn. You know, let's let's declutter your life, clean up a little bit, because you want to go back to the past of happy memories. You want things the way they used to be. Okay, but you moving you're moving on from this. This is also could represent innocence as well. Okay, this could represent reunion. You know, um, having a reunion with someone. But I, I think more as so you're thinking about how things used to be in spirit saying, no, uh-uh. No, I need you to simplify your life. I need you to go and clean yourself up, love yourself first because we're moving on because they, you have a business at hand. At hand okay? Okay? Um, you have abundance that's coming. So I need you to bring it forward a little bit because this right now you're insecure. You're insecure. You feel like you need to you need to depend on somebody else. And spirit is saying, no. No, you don't need to do that. And whoever this person is, you got some somebody spying on you. Okay, there's some gossiping and spying going on you on uh going on right now as well. And this could be you. 
you know, looking in on other people, seeing what they're doing, trying to check them out. Spirit saying, no, cut that out. Stop being dependent on, you know, that, you know, checking somebody's social media every morning. Stop doing that. And that's for somebody, I'm telling you, I felt that, I felt that strong. Somebody is waking up every morning before you check your own social media, you're checking somebody else's uh, social media, you know, trying to check somebody's phone, maybe, you know, just doing stuff you don't have any business doing. And this is, and this is person that you're dependent on. Spirit saying, no, come out of that. Okay. Um, let me see if we have any angel codes coming through here. Let me see. I don't know if you've got a whole lot of people with these queens in this, this page here. No, we don't have any angel codes coming through, but you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That's strong in this reading. Okay, and Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Okay, that's very, very strong. So, um, or they could take on the energy of those signs. Okay, my Leo, but right now, focus on you. Focus on you. Focus on you. You are the star right now focus on you all attention on you so you can figure out what this business is that uh, spirit is telling you that you need to look into because abundance is coming abundance is coming baby okay my loves if you want to take this reading further you know i have uh, private readings and information pertaining to that can be found below and don't forget i have begun daily readings daily readings so we can give you understanding on a daily basis now how about that yeah Okay, my loves. Until next time. Bye-bye.